Welcome back to another blockchain video. This is part 1 of mining theory. In this video, we'll understand the important concept of mining in blockchain and cryptocurrency. We'll find out what mining is exactly and how it works. So why is there mining? What's this whole trend of Bitcoin miners? Is it like real mining? This stuff will be clear to you by the end of the video. Okay, so if you understood my previous videos, you'd know that in a blockchain, each block contains a couple of parameters. It's got some data, a hash value, and it's got the hash value of the previous block. So let's take an example. Now we have our block number. Then we have some data. This is just any random data for now. Then we have the previous block's hash. And without this field, the blockchain would fail. It would be pointless. So that's arguably the most important aspect of blockchains. And then we pass all of these properties in a hashing algorithm, which spits out the hash value for this block. Now surely this has got to bring us to the question, if it's so simple to create a block with a hash value by using these readily available algorithms, what's this whole fuss and talk about mining? What does it mean when someone says that they mine Bitcoin or any other cryptocurrency for that matter? Well, before I answer these questions, you should know that there's another sort of hidden field or parameter in a block. It's called the nonce. And this field is what mining is all about. Miners essentially just keep changing this nonce value. So now you know that the block number, the data of the block, the hash of the previous block, and the nonce are all factors in deciding the hash of the current block. Basically, what this nonce gives us is extra control and flexibility. Because we can't change the number of the block, because that will change the order of the blockchain. We can't change the hash of the previous block because that will that will break the chain and order of the blockchain. We can't change the data stored in the block because that will just be stupid. What's the point of all the security in blockchain if you're just damaging the blockchain yourself? The blockchain has to be an immutable ledger. So with the nonce value, we have the freedom to change the hash without tampering with the blockchain. There's going to be no real damage if you manipulate the nonce value. So let's have a look at that. Here we have a nonce value of 21 and it shows some hash value. Now if we change the nonce to 22, it'll change the hash. But notice how all the other parameters of the block stay the same. Now if we change the nonce to 23, it'll change the hash again. But all the parameters of the block still stay the same. Also notice how the hash is dramatically changing when I change the nonce just by one value. This is an example of the avalanche effect in action. I've explained that in a previous video about hash algorithms, so definitely check that out if you are not sure what the avalanche effect is. Now mining is all about hit and trial, finding the right targeted hash value within a certain amount of time. And this takes up a lot of computational power because you need results fast. Because there's a lot of competition. Miners are everywhere around the world. So the nonce is what miners use to mine blocks in the blockchain. And hopefully you have an understanding of what the nonce is and how mining somewhat works in blockchain. Okay, this was part one of mining theory in blockchain. And in the next video, we'll go into more detail about mining and we'll talk about the cryptographic puzzle. Stay tuned and thank you.